All right, here we go. Let's get started. Number one, come to attention. Bow, proceed. And position. Student reads. I develop myself physically and mentally based on the mild high karate spirit. I will only fight to protect my life and the lives of others. I achieve my fullest potential developing knowledge, honesty, and strength. And what's the goal? Black belt, excellent, sir. Come to attention. Bow, courtesy. Here we go. Let's get started. Right, jogging place. Jogging place. Get those feet moving. Let me get some music going as well. I know how loud it is. Oh, there we go. Hello. Susan, your class is in an hour. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Brendan's class is right now. Ha ha ha. What did you say? He was thinking it was me. Oh, we're moving, moving. Who we got? Awesome. Leo. Hey, Leo. Let's get rocking. Let's get rolling. All right. We're going to do jumping jacks, but with our hands up by our face. Just like this. And we're going as fast as we can. Just like this. Boom. Hands up, feet going in and out without our arms. Just like this. Perfect. All right, now we're going to go side to side, scissor, scissor run, scissor run. Good. Moving, moving. Doing great. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, here's what we're going to do. Ten jumping jacks. Then we're going to go on our back and do five squats. Back up ten jumping jacks. Five squats. We're going to keep on going. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then on your back. Sit up. Two punches as well. I have two punches. One, two. One, two. Four. Five. Then I stand back up. Here we go. Nine. Ten more jumping jacks. Ten. And then all the way back. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and stand up. One, two. Keep on going, guys. Keep on going. Back. One, two, three, four, five. Last time for me. Do it one more time, everyone. Job. All right, when you're done with those sit ups, stay on your back. All right, here we go. We're going to swim and we're going to swim for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Start in five, four, three, two, one, and swim. Make sure you keep your knees straight. Don't bend them and go like this. Knees straight or swim in. 
Good. Good. Now, unless your feet all the way up here, so then we're not doing anything. We're gonna keep it lower. Six feet. Six feet. Six inches off the ground. Not six feet. Six inches. All right. Now we're gonna go side to side, like a scissor. Scissor. Still down on the ground for another thirty seconds. Good. Keep on going. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and nice job, everyone. All right, we're going to push up position. I'm going to go sideways. Watch me. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do in and out push ups. So my feet are going to come in, out. Then I'm going to do a push up just like that. All right? Challenge mode. Let's do 15 of these. 15. In out push up. 15. Ready? And go. Nice job. We're done. I want you guys to go on your knees. In out. Push up. All right. Here we go. Next one, we're going to hold plank for one minute. Are you guys ready? Here we go. So now everyone down in the plank. Your forearms on the ground. Get out. Hold this for one minute. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. And go. Hold it. How we doing? Let's see it. Good, good, good. Keep on going. Keep it up, Haley. Good job. There you go. Keep on going. Hold it. Halfway there. Good. Keep on going. Keep on going. Doing great, guys. Here we go, five seconds. And time. Nice job, shake it out. Woo! Nice job. All right, and here we go. We're gonna get started by stretches. Ready, butterfly stretch. Butterfly stretch. Good. Go all the way down. Remember, we're not bending down with our head towards our toes. Our chest is going down to our toes. Good. All right, and both feet straight out, just like this, and all the way down. Touch those toes. Touch those toes. Let's see it. Good. Touch those toes. Can't touch your toes yet. That's okay. I just that means you should spend more time in the day stretching. All right. Touch those toes. Stretch those toes. All right, one leg out, one leg in. Just like this, down and over. Good. Uh, 
good. And switch sides. Go all the way down. Good. Good. Hold it for 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. All right, nice job, everyone. Stand up. Stand up. All right. Here we go. Take one arm, go over. Good. And switch. Take the arm, bring it over on top, bring them back. Good. And switch. Good. And down. All right, here we go. Take one arm, one leg. Hands up, make sure your back straight. Don't bend down like this. Keep that back up straight so you feel that stretch all the way. Put one hand up by your face. And balance. Good. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Keep your back up straight. Keep your body in one line. Good. Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and switch sides. Hand up. Now make sure we don't want our leg to go up like this. We want to keep it right next to our side. We've got to use that balance. Good. Good job. And set that leg down. Come do tension. Bow, courtesy. Go grab a quick drink of water and be back here and we'll get started with Chunji. Ready? And go! Go ahead, guys, go ahead. Tension. Bow, put to see. Here we go. I'm for the first time I'm gonna be turning towards the back. Alright, I'm gonna be doing it the same way. So everyone raise your left hand. Good. So that means when we step out, we're facing our we're facing the same way. So when I step up with my first move and do a down walk towards the left, you guys go the same direction. Alright? Perfect. But hey, switch your feet. Switch your feet like the other way. Your feet should be the other way. So you have your left leg out in front for that first one. All right, but before we do that, let's start at the beginning. Here we go, prepare for it, Now, Haley, I still want you facing your camera. Still face your camera, okay? We're going the same way. We're supposed to go this way for the first move, right? Here we go, ready, first move, chain your left hand on top, right hand on bottom. Stepping off that left leg, front stance, down, back, hey Good. Now remember what we talked about. I want to see your guys' belt in the camera. Your belt should be facing the same way as your down block. All right? So both of our shoulders should be facing the same way. I shouldn't see both of the shoulders. Only one. 
Good. Steven, switch your feet, sir. You ha you're, uh, you're facing the right way. But just make sure that your front stance is not on a tightrope. It's on a railroad track. So you guys need that foot. Spread your feet apart. Like this. Spread them up this way. Right? And then down in that down block. There you go. Nice job. Ready? And step forward, punch. Good. Nice job now. Hug. Hand that was punching goes on top. Other hand goes on bottom. Now, I want you everyone to pretend that clock back there on the top of the on top of the wall, that's my camera. Alright? So we're all gonna step towards our camera. Remember, we're waving our foot at the camera. So we're gonna pick it up. We foot at our camera. Front stance towards the other side. Check, check, and nice job, everyone. Doing that down block. And then aim. Step forward, punch. Good. Now everyone tap your front leg. The leg that's in front. We're taking this front leg. We're going towards our camera. We're going towards our front. So hug with the hand that was punching on top. Going towards the camera with our front leg. Yeah. Good. Haley, switch your feet, ma'am. I want your left hand doing that down block. So switch your feet. That's your right hand. See how we're facing the same way? So my, your left hand, this hand should be doing that down block. All right. Not this one, the other one. So I want you to switch your feet. Do the other side. Oh, still facing this way. Still facing towards the camera, but there. Bam, just like that. There you go. And then aim. Step forward. Punch. Good. So we just have our right leg in front and our right hand punching. Good. And then we hug. Take that right leg. We're going to go away from the camera towards our right. Going towards our right. Picking it up, turning. Down block. Now you guys are going away from your camera. Perfect. That's it, Haley. Nice job, Steven. And then aim. Step forward. Punch. Good job. And then step forward, punch, Steven. Bam. Awesome job, guys. And that last move is an eye eye. Don't forget. Because that's the halfway point form. So with the halfway point, we want Naya. All right? Nice job. Reset, reset. Let's do it all again. We're going to go a little faster this time, though. I'm still going to be facing this way. Ready? Prepare for Trungy. Ready? First move, going towards our left. Ready? And go. Aya. Down block. Good. And step forward. Punch. Front hand on top, left hand on bottom. So right hand going on top. Now we're going to go pick up our leg towards our camera and down on the other side. Perfect. Nice job. A. Let me see back to the three sides. Step forward. Punch. Good. Hug. Now tap your front leg. We're only moving our front leg. Our right, our back leg stays here. Only moving our front leg. Front leg picks up, going towards our camera down block. Straight towards our camera. Yeah, that's it. Nice job, everyone. And step forward, punch. Now we're going towards our right. Going towards our right. Hug. Picking up our front leg. Leaving our back leg head. Turn away from the camera. So we're facing. Yeah, there it is. Nice job. Aim. And step forward, punch. Ayah. Awesome job, guys. Reset. That was great. Nice job, everyone. All right. So just remember, we're doing the same move, same two moves on, in every direction, okay? Just keep that in mind. So don't get freaked out about that. It's the same two moves every time. Here we go. Let's do a full speed. One move per second. All right. I'm going to do it two times with you, and then that last time, I'm going to watch you guys do it. Here we go. Prayer four. Tony. Ready. One move per second. And go. 
Awesome job, guys. Reset. Awesome job. Now, everyone, remember, we're throwing our front punches. It's not straight out at our shoulder. We've got to bring it to the middle of our chest, all right? So both punches in the same spot, no matter what hand. All right? Here we go. Let's do it. I'm going to do it with you guys one more time, and I'm going to watch you guys do it. Prepare for study. Forward. You ready? Here we go. Let's see it. And go! Aya! Aya! Yes! Nice job, guys. Reset! Awesome job, everyone. Here we go. You ready? Let's do it. Prepare for Chunji. All right, now I'm just going to watch you guys, all right? So if you guys need to close your eyes and think about the way without looking up front, that's perfectly okay. Here we go, ready? And go! Yes, nice job everyone. Reset. Reset, reset. Awesome job. Now this time, when you guys go through it, I want you guys to focus on your stances. Make sure your stances aren't just standing like this. You gotta bend your knees. Alright? Big strong stances. Here we go. Let's do it again. Prepare for Chunji. Let's do it. Ready? And go! There you go, Haley. Yep. Good job. Awesome job, guys. Reset. Awesome. So one thing, one thing to remember, the front hand is always the one doing that down block first. So watch that. My first move is my front hand doing the down block. See? This is the leg that goes all the way out. So that same hand on the same side as that, as that leg, that's the one doing the down block. All right, and then we step forward, punch. And then when I do it on the other side, this hand is out. I mean, this leg, this is the leg. This leg is out, so this hand is out. All right, nice job, let's do it. One more time, I'm gonna watch you guys do it one more time. Prepare for Chunji. Let's see it. Ready, and go. Good. Nice job. Awesome job, everyone. Nice job. Come to attention. Bow courtesy. All right, I want you guys to find a spot where you can sit crisscross curry sauce and look up here at me, all right? Ready? And go. Go ahead. Find that spot. Find that spot. Down. Good. Oh, That's good. All right. Taking that seat, looking up here, ready to rock and roll. All right. So today we're going to be going over what we went over Monday and Tuesday, that second sentence in that word of the month. All right. Remember, you guys can find the character challenge worksheet for this paper on our website, watch.westminstermhk.com. I'm not sure if that's out yet. I'll let you guys know when it is out. But for now, you guys can also use Google, that Google Classroom as well to find that character challenge worksheet. All right? Just like you did for the last cycle. All right? Here we go. Let's go over the second sentence. The second sentence. It says, the mind cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is vividly imaged. One more time. The mind cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is vividly imaged. All right? So vividly, that means it's... It's not there, but it looks like it is. It is 
so much detail that it looks like it's there. So like, for example, if I was holding up our card box, you guys can vividly see this. That means it's not really there, but you guys can see it with a lot of detail. All right? So everyone, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I want you guys, we did this last week, I want you guys to visualize you guys are at your black belt extravaganza, all right? And you guys are conditional black belts. So you have your conditional black belts on, all right? You guys are about to do your form that you made up, and you guys are about to get your black belt. I want you guys to think about what that's going to look like here, what it's going to sound like, not here, like, sound like, what it's going to smell like. Think about that, think about that. All right, good. Now, I want you guys to think about what your form would look like. Kind of awesome moves. Would you be using a weapon? Ooh, I know that's up to you. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, I want, I want you guys to visualize Grandmaster Oliver tying on that black belt on your waist. All right, think about that. All right, now open your eyes. Nice job. Now, whenever you guys are visualizing something in the future or visualizing your goals, it's super, super important that you put in as much detail as possible. All right? It's important that you put in as much detail as possible so it's going to help you get to your goal. All right, we're going to do it again. Close your eyes. Now, this time I want you guys to think about Chunji. Visualize yourselves doing Chunji, but not at your current rank but what your Chinese is gonna look like when you're a black belt, all right? I want you guys to focus on the little tiny, tiny details, like how deep is my front stance? Where is my punches? Are they by my shoulder or at the middle of my chest? All right? You guys just think about how loud your eye will be. Every little tiny detail, all right? Give this like two seconds. All right, now open your eyes, open your eyes. Now, focusing on the details, vividly imaging what that Chunji will look like in the future is going to help our Chunji right now look so much better. All right, because now you guys, you guys thought about, you guys know what that Chunji should look like. So when you're actually doing Chunji, it's going to be a lot easier to do it. All right, now this doesn't have to do with just our forms now. This has to do with any of your goals, getting that A in your class. What? what that test is going to look like, we're going to be look, how you're going to be looking when you're studying, focus super hard, all right? Whatever the goal is, I want you guys to vividly image that goal when you're visualizing it, put in as much detail as possible so you guys can have a better outcome, all right? Well, let's, I'm going to say that sentence one more time. The mind cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is vividly imaged. Remember, you guys can find the character challenge worksheet that you guys can fill out on Google Classroom, and it'll be out on the uh, the website very, very soon. All right? Nice job, everyone. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We're going to get right into our combination. So, ready? Come to your attention. Bow, courtesy. All right. Let's get our music rolling just a little bit. All right, here we go. And set towards the side. Good. Now remember, my left is a little different from your left, right? So Brendan, you should be facing towards your left because you're facing towards your right. There you go. Nice job. All right. So remember, when we're doing the combos, I'm going to be facing opposite direction. That doesn't change the moves at all. All right. Here we go. Hands up. Let's do it. Now remember, we're going to do karate combination number one first. First thing to focus on. Remember, it's not just standing in place. We've got to be offensive, moving forward. All right. Shooting off that back leg like we talked about Wednesday, Thursday, shooting off that back leg and then front punch, back punch, not just step, step forward. All right, let's do it. Karate combination number one, as fast as you can, front punch, back punch. Ready, and go. Good, nice job, everyone. And turn. On the other side. Ready, same thing. Shooting off that back leg. Ready, number one again. And go! Good, nice job. And turn! See it, number one again. Ready? And go! Good, and turn! Number one again. Ready? 
And go. Aya. Good and turn. All right, everyone go up to your camera and show me which knuckles we punch with. Everyone go up to your knuck camera and show me which two knuckles we punch with. Which two knuckles? Show me. Is it these two? Is it these two? Wh which two knuckles do we? Good. Remember, it's your first two. So the pointer finger and your middle finger, these two knuckles are the ones we want to hit with. All right? No, none of the other knuckles. Because look, these two are the biggest knuckles. Our biggest, biggest knuckles. There we go. So those are the two knuckles we want to be punching with. All right, here we go. Let's do number one one more time. Keep that in mind. Focus on punching with those two knuckles. If you are punching something, making sure those two knuckles are hitting. Ready? Number one again. And go. Good. Nice job. And turn. Here we go. Let's do number two. Number two. Now, remember, we don't go forward like we do in number one with number two. We've got to step forward first. So during that first move, that front punch, that's when we step. And then we come up. Front kick. Back punch. All right. Here we go. Number one. Ready? And go. Actually, my bad. Number two. We're doing number two. Ready to go. Number two, my bad. I said number one. Good hand turn. Let's do it on the other side. Number two this time, not number one. Number two. Ready? And go. Aya. Good hand turn. Now remember, we're not kicking with our back leg. We're kicking with our front leg. So that first move, we step forward when we punch. This is the leg that's kicking. We bring our back leg up, and then we kick with our front leg, and then back punch. All right? Don't kick with your back leg instead of back. Kick with that front leg. Ready, turn. Let's do it on the other side. Here we go. Number two. Kick with that front leg. And go. Aya. Good. Nice job, turn. Here goes to again number two. Ready and go. Aya. And turn. Steven, kick with your other leg. So when you're facing that way, instead of kicking with your back leg, kick with that front leg. So front punch, same leg. This is the leg that's kicking. Just like that. All right. Let's do it. Number two. One more time. Ready. And go. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. Nice job. And turn. I want to see it one more time. Just, just make sure we have it on both sides. Number one, two. Number two. Ready? And go. Yeah, perfect. There it is. Nice job, everyone. And turn. Here we go. Come to attention. Back to the seat. All right, I want everyone to go as far back as they can. As far back as they can. All right. We're going to be practicing our step behind side kicks for number three. All right, so everyone set towards the front. Now make sure your body sideways. We don't want it like this. We want our body sideways, belly buttons facing away. All right. Here we go. That front leg, we're going to tap that leg in front. Leg in front. All right. That's the first part. That's our step. So first move, we're going to step. We're going to step at an angle. We're not going to step straight forward. We're stepping at our side. All right? Good. Now remember, I don't want it like all the way out here, because then it's going to be kind of hard to take. So just a little step forward, all right? Now tap your back leg. Here comes your behind. Step behind. And then with that front leg, ready? And side kick. And set it down. Nice job. Here we go. Let's do it again. Ready? And we're going to take a step forward. Step. And look, that step comes when that back fist happens. Okay? We're going to have that back fist in for good measure. Behind. And front leg. Select it. Nice job. Don't worry about the back fist at the end. All right. One more time. Ready? Let's do it again. Back fist. Step behind. Side kick. Good. And one more. And we're going to do our other side now. Other side, hands up. So we should have a new front leg. Here we 
we go. Ready? So we're going to step behind psychic. Good. Now watch. I'm going I'm to face this way when I do it. Just one thing. So I step, and when I go behind, look, my back leg is pivoted before I even kick. So when you do that step behind, make sure your toes are facing away from your target. See how they're facing away? So I can throw that side kick with my pivot. All right, here we go. Let's do it two more times. Ready? Step. Behind. Make sure my toes are pivoted. See that? Good. And side kick. Boom, just like that. One more time. Ready? Step. Behind, side kick, and down. Nice job. Now back to the middle, back to your combo spot. Here we go. Ready? Set towards us. Aya. Here we go. Number three. Now we're not facing towards our camera anymore. We're facing back to left and right, like we are normally do with our combos. All right, here we go. Number three. And go. Step. Behind. Side kick, back punch. Good. Nice shot. Turn. All right, let's do it on the other side. Ready? And step with the back kick. Haley, step, step forward with your front leg, all right? Good. And then behind. Side kick. And back punch, a yaw. Good. And turn. Let's do it again. One more time. One more time. Ready? And step. Behind. Side kick. And back punch. All right. And turn. All right. I'm just going to watch you guys do it this time. Let's go as fast as you can. Step behind. Back this step behind. Side kick. Back punch, number three. Ready? And go! Good. Nice job. And turn. For good measure, I want to see it on the other side, too. Ready? And go! Good. Nice job, everyone. Alright, here we go. I'm going to show you guys why I do that practice and that step behind at the same time. Alright, so pretend I'm sparring with some more. So both of our hands are up. Now, this first move, this back fist, is not supposed to hit. It's supposed to be a distraction. Alright, so watch. That first move, I do my back fist, I get his hands up. And then this is where my step behind side gets him right in the side. And then back punch is the last move. Alright, so one more time, I'm going to show you guys. So back fist, you get his hand up, step behind, side, and back punch, just like that. All right, that is why we do that back fist and that step at the same time, because the back fist is a distraction. All right, here we go. Come to attention, guys. Bow, courtesy. All right, I'm going to go through some announcements so you guys can have your hands behind your back in a relaxed position. Make sure you guys are looking right up here, paying attention. First one, please. Make sure you guys check out the Google Classroom for that word of the month, that character challenge worksheet. We're going to have the website up very, very soon. We should have it up by the end of the week, so you guys can check that out as well. All right. Now, remember, if you guys are double testing, if you're double testing my blue belts, you guys are just doing all of one. You guys know that. But if you guys are double testing, you're going to do last cycle, which is one yo in American karate five through eight, and you're going to do this cycle, which is Chunji karate one through four, but blue belts. We're doing everything, so it doesn't matter. Um, also, next month, next month, next couple weeks, actually, two, more, more like two weeks, we're going to be starting comma one. We're going to be starting comma one, so please make sure you guys have your commas. If your commas are here at the school, call us, email us, and then you guys can come by, pick them up, and then you guys can get those at home. All right? If you guys need any help with any of the forms or any of the combos, we have private lessons from 2.30 to 4. 
Monday through Friday. So if you guys need any extra help with any forms of combos, you guys can go one on one with an instructor. We'll help you out with any of those forms. All right. Okay. Also remember, it is our word month. This month is visualization, so it is time to pull out our visualization posters. So remember, I don't want like four or five things on here. I want ten or twelve short term and long term goals on here. Buy your side, take a smile, take a picture, and then Facebook, Gmail, anything you want to send that group, and you guys will get to the right with that. And remember, our weekly challenge is that nine count front kick. If you don't remember what that nine count front kick is, my hands up, I'm gonna bring my front leg up. It's a front kick, round kick, side kick, and hook kick without setting my leg down. So it's one, well, two, three, four, just like that, and set it down. Remember, you gotta have all the chambers. Can't be like, huh, 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 boom, like that. No, you gotta have all the chambers in between. All right? Make sure when you guys are taking class, you all are doing it perfect. So make sure you guys are in full uniform for every class. And last thing, make sure you guys don't leave like in the, like in the middle of class because then you guys can't get class credit. It's like here, if you just locked off the karate floor, middle, middle of class, you don't get class credit. So make sure you guys are here for the whole class. I think that's, that's it for everything. All right, come to attention. Bow, good to see you. Hands around your back. And black belt free. As a dedicated student of the martial arts, I live my life by the principles of black belt. Modesty, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and dominant spirit, sir. Loud proposition, sir. Mile high karate is the best, sir. I saw. Do we have any questions before we head out? Any questions? Any questions?